In this video, we're going to look at the law of conservation of mechanical energy. <clears throat> By mechanical energy, we mean kinetic energy and the gravitational potential energy. We have a simple skateboarding U-ramp and a skateboarder. Let's call the skateboarder. Let's call him Daniel. It's going to be his name. And you can see that I, as I raise Daniel to a certain height on the graph to the right, you can see that the gravitational potential energy increases. That's the blue bar. And the yellow bar is the total amount of energy. So when I click play, now you can see that Daniel is coming down and then back up the plane, the U-ramp. And um, follow what's happening to the energy. As you look at the graph, you can see that the as he's coming down, the potential energy decreases, and the green, the kinetic energy, is increasing. But at any moment, no matter when I stop it, the the yellow bar is always the same. So the total amount of energy is decrease. Uh, is excuse me, the total amount of energy is staying constant, so it doesn't change. Also, notice up here on the speedometer. Speedometer, as uh, he's coming down the U ramp, his speed increases. And that's where the kinetic energy is the largest. Because here on this pie chart, you can also see uh, as the green changes into blue and back and forth. And as he comes up, that's when the speed is the smallest. So he lost all of his kinetic energy, and all of the energy now is in the form of gravitational potential energy. But again, at any given moment, the total amount of energy is staying the same. We call this law of conservation of energy or in this case, the law of con conservation of mechanical energy, uh, when we are <coughs> only considering kinetic and gravitational potential energy. You can also, well, you, you know that if you actually do this, then uh, eventually you're going to stop. Why is that? Why will you, why will you eventually stop? Some of, as you're coming down, uh, some of the energy, or the gravitational potential or the kinetic energy, uh, is being changed into thermal energy through force of friction. So force of friction always opposes your motion, and basically the force of forces of friction are doing work on you, and by doing so they are changing some of your energy into thermal energy, into uh, basically making the ramp warmer, making the wheels of the skateboard warmer. You're even heating up the air as you're coming down. You're hitting the molecules of air, and even though you don't do much work. Uh, but eventually, even if the friction with the with the ramp was zero, just the friction with the air would stop you. And we can simulate it <coughs> in the second tap of the simulation. We can turn the friction on. So again, the same case that we had that we had before. Here on the bar graph, our the, the friction is going to be shown with a, with a red as it's thermal energy in here. So when I turn the friction on, that was rather fast, but you can see that the kinetic and potential energy, they all changed into thermal energy, and now at this moment, all the kinetic and potential, the mechanical energies, has all transferred into the thermal energy. So whatever was the total at the beginning, it is now in the form of thermal energy. Again, an important concept here is that the energy did not disappear. It, it wasn't destroyed. It was just changed into thermal energy. Let's do this one more time. So right now, no thermal energy. And I guess let's, let's make the friction smaller in here so that it wouldn't happen as fast. So let's give him a lot of potential energy. And notice also that the friction or the thermal energy increases not at a constant rate when it comes in these jumps. And when do you see the jumps happen? Let me do it again. When do you, when do you see the, the thermal energy increase fast? Did you notice that it is happening down here? That's when the, the velocity is the largest? It should make sense that when you're moving the fastest, that's when the friction forces are the largest. So you can see the thermal energy is increasing in these jumps, these spurts. And eventually all of the mechanical energy has changed into thermal energy. And of course, Daniel, our hero here, 
stops. <laughs>